In this video, we're going to be reviewing some of the top success stories in hair loss recovery that were posted on Reddit. This is a series where I'll be posting the newest post of successful recovery stories each week. So subscribe and stay tuned. First on the list is a user named Bada boom, bada bing. <laughs> what an awesome name. In the first image, the user tells us that he was on topical minoxidil using the form and 5% concentration plus oral finasteride. We don't know how long he had been on these two drugs, but apparently it was something that had been working for him. Now, here comes the interesting and at the same time horrifying part. The user stopped using the topical minoxidil for two months. We'll explain in a bit why, but here's what happened. <laughs> This reminds us how important it is to be consistent with treatments we use. Even if he was still using oral finasteride, it doesn't mean that the hair recovered with minoxidil won't come off. But in this case, it was not his fault. Apparently, his minoxidil order from the US got delayed, meaning he couldn't reach for more for some weeks. Luckily, the user decided to substitute the topical minoxidil for 2.5 milligrams of oral minoxidil. And these are the results. Clearly, we see new regrowth. Some people respond better to minoxidil than others, but clearly bada boo bada bing is a great responder. Now next on our list we find our friend Arroba Free. From his name I can guess from the beginning that he's a Spanish compatriot. Now this user was also on the same treatment as the previous one, using 1 mg of oral finasteride and 5 mg of oral minoxidil. As we can see, the user responded very well to the treatment. Comparing the before and after, Aroba Free managed to regrow the temples, the center of the scalp and in general gain more hair density. The scalp and the crown area is still visible, but with a few more months of treatment I would imagine that he could regrow it as well. In the forum, one of the users asks him if he had any adverse effect with the oral minoxidil, to which our friend replies that no, nothing in terms of his health. But he did notice hypertrichosis, which means hair growth all over the body. For some men, this is not necessarily a problem, but it is something to keep in mind if you want to start oral minoxidil. Well now, this is where the problem comes in. <laughs> Apparently, a rubber free concludes with his dermatologist to stop using oral minoxidil and just continue with finasteride since he only used it as a booster at the beginning of the treatment. Hermano, <laughs> this is a mistake. We have already seen in the example above what can happen to people who do that. From compatriot to compatriot, I recommend you to listen to the other Reddit users and avoid losing everything you gained in hair so far. Let's hope that the nice head stays just as bushy. Last on the list, we have the biggest success story of the moment with the user nopop2289. I don't know if this user doesn't like Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, Katy Perry and other pop artists. Hmm, it's something we don't judge on this channel. However, this user, surprise surprise, stopped using topical minoxidil to start using oral minoxidil. Obviously, from what we have seen so far, he lost the hair he had gained so far. But at the same time, the user started using oral minoxidil 5 milligrams, administered at 2.5 twice a day. And the results are unbelievable. Week after week, he was updating Reddit with the results. Personally, it's one of the best results I have seen to date. That said, this is the last update he left us on Reddit. As I said before, some people respond better to minoxidil than others. And this user responded in the best way possible. Possible. That's it for this week. If you want to see more success stories like this one, don't forget to subscribe and write in the comments what is the most impressive result for you. See you soon.